Good morning, lampshades and gerbil men. Welcome back to Curiosity Forge. I am the something in the something. So today I'm going to work on setting the forge welds on this bad boy. And uh, hopefully with a striker here, I will be able to get this drawn out, shaped, and twisted. That's the goal for today, and go ahead and get the eye punched out. Um, I, if this goes together and works, I have got a chunk of purple heart in there to make my handle from, which is going to be excellent. And while I wait for my striker to arrive, I am going to go ahead and do some cleanup. Another safety note. Make sure your shop is as clean as you can keep it, and make sure your footpath is clear so you don't trip on something, because there's so many things in here that can hurt you if you fall on them. So, with that, I will be back when it's time to get this thing uh, out for the first forge weld. So, go hang out for a minute, use the bathroom, just prepare yourself, because we don't know what's going to happen yet. Alright, back in a bit. Alright, I just tried the first welding heat, and it didn't hold uh, the color as long as I thought it should. So I got flexed and went right back in. I'll be back when it's time to pull it back out of the fire again. Alright, here we go with the next heat. CLF hammer and it seemed to hold up okay so I'm as confident as I can be that this is going to hold together. Yet. Take it back. We got like 
little bit on the end lifting, but that's okay, that's sacrificial. So that was the first heat. We got a little bit of crap on the end lifting up, but it's too late to do anything about that. I fluxed it and hammered it, and it didn't stick. But the middle seems to be just fine. So we're good. All right, folks, we run into our first big problem. There are sections that are totally delaminating. Um, there is a big section right there. Bastard's hot. The big section right there, and then a bunch of stuff at the back is separated. So, our next solution is going to be to take this over to the chop saw and cut the ends off and then cut it down lengthwise. It'll be a smaller billet, but maybe that's still stuck together. We'll find out. So, if nothing good comes out of that, I'll be back. I'll let you know what went wrong, and we'll move on with life. Thank God I was mentally prepared to accept the possibility of failure. This is a hell of an experiment so far, though. I've had a lot of fun. Well, I gotta come at you with my hat in my hand and apologize to myself, because... We got a huge D-lamb right here that looks like it goes pretty much all the way across. And more D-lambing on the sides here, and there's no telling how deep those go. So, I'm going to step away from this and just let it sit as part of the wall of shame. Uh, I don't count it as a loss because I sure as hell enjoyed myself all the way up until the D-lamb started showing up. So, uh, I don't know if the materials weren't quite uh, compatible enough or if I did something wrong when I was heating it up. Um, I think the first flux may have been a little too cold. I may have done it. But either way, I'll come back to the Damascus hammer and try again at some point. But it ain't gonna be right now. So, that's all I got for today. Remember to praise the forge and pass the borax. Remember you are the softest thing in the shop. And have a great day.